Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a quick review of my Corsair Sabre RGB gaming mouse. So this mouse weighs only 100 grams so it is a really light mouse and it's really nice for playing FPS games but it's also a really good mouse for all around but I think it's meant for FPS games in particular. So the mouse actually retails for around 40 to 50 pound depending on where you buy it from I got mine on sale with my keyboard or in a bundle with my keyboard so it made it a bit cheaper so I'll leave links in the description to where you can buy this from but keep an eye out because it probably will go on sale at some point so on the left click you have the Corsair right in there and yeah it's a really nice mouse it's got a rubberized finish so your hands don't get too sweaty and it's quite grippy as well so on the mouse itself, you have three lighting zones, one there on the Corsair logo, one there on the scroll wheel, and one at the front there. Now the scroll wheel is rubberized and it has got a little texture on it, so it's easy to grip. It has got a remappable button here, but I don't like the positioning of that, so I don't use it. But it has also got two additional here, uh, remappable buttons, which I use a lot. They're in a really nice place, and yeah. All the lighting modes sync up with my Corsair Strafe and they are all editable in the Corsair Utility Engine. Now also on the mouse it has a DPI switcher. So this just allows you to change the DPI between games without having to go into a software or anything like that. Um, that's really handy if you play a variety of different games like racing games and then FPS games. So the cable itself is braided so there's not really any chance of it fraying or getting damaged or cut. Now the underneath of the mouse itself is a shiny black plastic. It does get scratched quite easily even if you're using a soft mouse mat. But it still obviously works the same and it still glides really well. So yeah, and there's the sensor and there is just a yellow part of the shiny plastic. Now I don't know if I already said this but I have had this mouse 6 months now and the only thing I can fault is that button which I don't like the position of. Everything else is really really good in it. It's definitely worth the price. It feels really good quality and yeah I think it's probably one of the best gaming mice for that price range on the market. So yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a like, comment and subscribe and turn on channel notifications so you'll get notified when I upload and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video